Welcome to our Streamlining Year-End Processes series. My name is Catherine. I'm a Business Development Manager at Intuit. I'm also a CPA CGA, and you've guessed it, I've got tips and tricks for you. The third part of this series is how to close your year with work papers. Let's go check it out. So in QuickBooks, again, you go to your Books and Tax tab to Work Papers. You can actually access Work Papers also under Accountant Tools, Accountant Tools Work Papers. For the purpose of this video today, we're going to focus on the Review and Adjust tab. The Documents tab is where you can see where which accounts have documents. So you can see here in my current assets, I've got two attachments. But the Review and Adjust is really going to show you your trial balance view. You can actually have a different view if you prefer. For today, we're going to use a trial balance view. Again, like anything in QuickBooks, when you see a gearbox, there are secrets that can be really useful for you. So for example, here, it's more reorganizing the look. So you can drag and drop these columns whatever, what, in whatever order you want. You can check off some boxes. If you don't want to see, let's say, your 2020 year-end balance, you can check it off. In this case right now, I'm satisfied with the look. As you can see, every account there, and ideally, is we want to support most of these balances for a year-end. So let's use this cash on hand account as an example. As you can see here, I've got my beginning balance, I've got an adjusting entry, and then my end balance. As a reviewer, I might be wondering what this adjusting entry is all about and what caused this. So to see your GL details, you can just click on the balance here and we'll open up your GL. If you want to see the adjusting entry, what, what entry was made, you can click here, it'll open up the journal entry. To see the note, all you need to do is click on the little icon. As you can see here, we wrote client has misallocated expense accounts, so on and so forth. That explains uh, to a reviewer why there was an adjusting entry made. So this might just simply clarify the explanation here should be good enough. The attachment to here is um, we referred in the note to a email from the client. There's the email. You can add a PDF. You can add all sorts of documents here, whatever you need to support and explain this balance. There are also two columns. So the green one here is the preparer can just sign off on it when he's done or she's done. And same thing with the reviewer. You just sign off when that file is reviewed. Again, this is very helpful on those stop and go files because then you know which balances are already supported. You get a very clear visual. As you can see, work papers can really help you close your client's books directly in QuickBooks before handing off the file to the tax team if they're not the same as the bookkeeping team. This is going to avoid some bookkeeping entries that the tax team may do incorrectly. Stay tuned for series number four where I'm going to cover that part. To learn more about work papers and the review and adjust and how to better manage your year ends, please do not hesitate to contact your account manager. They will be able to help you out. Thank you.